Yeah. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Because it's funny. Now it's funny. I'm sure this chick didn't think it was funny. But it's the same thing, you know? It, everything is new. I don't really realize that I've lost my amenity by this point. Which is something that happens with success. And especially when they had, you know, TV networks that played music videos. You're on TV eight, nine times a day, you know? So after a show, um, we went into a 7-Eleven. After being in a bar or two, I was flying to New York for the day off from Denver the next day. And it was, they, we had hit the, the time where they wouldn't sell us alcohol. So I was like, well, we'll just give the guy a couple hundred bucks, you know, on the side, and I'm sure he'll do it. I mean, it worked before. Because now we had those kind of funds, you know. And um, so I was kind of waiting for the store to... You know, there were some people in line to split, and then I was going to do my illegal deal with the guy. And a girl recognized me uh, in the store and was very polite and very cool. Like, oh, I, I love your record. And she had a, a friend with her who is a larger chick, and she instantly like just made like a kind of poopy face towards me and was like, well, who cares who they are? You know, he's a dirtbag or whatever. And I was like, that's great coming from someone with like a carton of chocolate milk and bonbons in your hand, you know, like I, I, I couldn't resist. And so she, she said something like, well, you know, he's so skinny and scraggly. I could, I'll put this down and I'll like, I'll kick your ass, you know? And I was like, you know what, I, now this is over. And I just kind of coughed up a lug and spit at her because, I, you know, that's just where my mindset was at the time. <laughs> and, I, and I spit right on her. And then, like, it kind of got, like, brutal in there for a second. She was upset and grossed out. And so then the guy behind the counter, we blew the beer deal. So we kind of split with the beer, and I just threw the money at him. And we, so we kind of stole the beer. It was dumb, you know. So we split and go to the hotel around the corner. So the next thing I know, they're there, you know, and then it's on MTV and it's on the local news in Atlanta. And when asked on camera if I did it, I, I said no way because I was, I was totally scared, like, you know, that, um, that they would do something to me or whatever, you know. So at the time, I didn't really feel like being forthcoming with the, you know, the information that I, you know, spit in this woman's face who was rude and threatening little old me but i did it not too proud of it really but i guess it's kind of funny people have done a lot worse since then <laughs>